A Dolphin 5380 here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, very familiar with this coach. Uh, 23,000 miles. We uh, took it in on trade from the original owner and actually sold it to its second owner. It's now back here on consignment. Um, both owners have kept this thing like inside a barn or garage when not in use. So it is just the skin still has a nice gleam and gel coat. It's been protected from the sun. The front tires are only three years old. The back tires, I don't have the hard age on those, but they look just as good as the front ones. It was stored on blocks in a barn. There's no dry rot on the tires. The roof is in excellent shape. We did a full peel and seal on this thing in either 14 or 15. We were actually the servicing dealer of this RV for the last few years, so we're very familiar with how well it has been maintained. Um, the uh, folks that we're selling it for on consignment, which by the way, uh, I'm sure you've noticed we sell stuff for you if you have a you know trailer or motorhome or something like that And you don't feel like selling it bring it to us and we sell it for you And obviously we advertise it just like our inventory here at the you know hail it consignment program um, Back to the point at hand I asked the folks you know first question anyone's gonna have on a really nice rig like this is What's wrong with it that I can't see why don't they want it anymore because Naturally, you're wanting to make sure you're not making a mistake with a high dollar investment. Fully understand and respect that. I get it. Um, suffice to say, there's nothing wrong with it. The folks are just older. They're just done RVing. They, they've done the whole RV circuit before and uh, they just, they no longer are, you know, going out and about. They're just not the mobile rambling gambling couple they used to be. Um, you saw the nice big storage under there and I mean look at the precision they put together in this where you have the slide ram arms I mean they, they perfectly fitted and slotted those baggage doors There was so much premeditation that went into this thing I like the big awning over those slider windows so you can get maximum airflow even when it's raining We've got our own and marquee gold 5500 generator back here. That'll take care of this RV You'll be able to run both air conditioners in this thing. No problem only 101 hours on that generator. Um, actually, the mileage on this, 23,000 is good. I hear people say all the time, oh, I found an old 03 motorhome, it's only got 8,000 miles on it. That's bad. That means that the engine and seals and gaskets haven't been used enough. The lubricants haven't been run through the machine like they're supposed to. This has been used enough. You know, it's in that good sweet spot. Our whole uh, hitch tow package back here rated for uh, 5,000 pounds towing with a 500 pound tongue weight. Pretty common in class A uh, gas motor homes. I don't see anything too uh, above and beyond that. All three slide outs have those nice slide awning covers and you see that your main slide has that aluminum awning shield to help keep that protected from the weather. Now I saw that both the uh, like crank open like roof vents like you see up there above the bathroom we've got that max air cover up there so I can use that thing even uh, you know maybe when it's a little inclement or rainy. We've got a double power entry step coming in here. Weather Pro awning by the way if the, the wind starts whacking that awning around it'll roll it right up for you so you don't even got to worry about it. So let's you know it's a nice sunny day you go out for a bike ride or something like that or just a walk whatever I don't care you go eat pizza at the local eatery. Um, if uh, the wind kicks up when you're away from home, it'll start running that thing uh, closed for you, which is nice. So the, uh, where do I want to start? Nice, light, bright interior. Um, they, they just did a lot, a good job with a lot of windows and a lot of light in here. Just very open and comfortable. And it's got that old classic honey oak. And I tell you, you know, it's like when you listen to music that was you know popular say when you were in like high school that's the best music isn't it every bit of music that came before or after was never as good as the music you listened to when you were a kid that's what this honey oak is like for me when i was a youngster camping with my parents and grandparents that's what camping looked like right here that beautiful rich honey oak look this is camping to me and i am still a sucker for it. it still hits me right in the feels every single time i had to laugh about this too it's just the way times change this thing had a 12 disc pioneer player in it oh man when this thing first came out it was the cat's pajamas man this was the business right here um Backing up a little bit, all the rest of your entertainment needs are going to be met over there. There's DVDs and there's even a VHS and all kinds of stuff up there. Something else I noticed too, you actually have two of these uh, pull-out little utility stands. You've got the other one right there for, you know, maps or whatever you have, you know, tablets nowadays. Um, very classic motorhome little 
flip stand behind that chair with the individual swivel chair right here. Pretty, I mean, this is not necessarily an uncommon layout. What's nice about it is it's in very good shape. This was actually uh, almost pre-sold. Some folks had some money down on it um, before they even saw it because they we uh, our salesman let them know it was coming in. They decided to pursue a brand new Jayco uh, Class A RV here um, as, as opposed to this one. And uh, it wasn't because this... Uh, wasn't um in, in great shape or anything it, it was just the uh, the layout didn't quite work for them but um it's in that sweet spot where it's it's still new enough that uh it, it's it, it has like a, a lot of the more newer amenities and features and systems but it's old enough that on a big bus like this the price point becomes a little more manageable for you know the average person larry lunch bucket joe six pack whatever all solid surface counters, everything's recessed to give us good prep space. You know, when you just at a glance, you look at this and you're like, that's not a really big kitchen slide. But everything is on an arch. Everything is maximized and everything's deeper and larger than you expect. It's, it's a very, very functional, small kitchen space. Flip it around back here, it looks like we've got a 10 cubic foot gas electric fridge. Nice little toothpick pantry on the side. Every ounce of storage counts. And as we move through here, to the walk-through middle bathroom. We've got a couple good things going on. we got an awesome towel closet up here. you got an awesome linen space. So you can keep lots of towels and beach towels and blankets or whatever in here. And down below, we've got that old Splendid 2000 uh, combination washer-dryer. I don't know if you noticed the vent outside, so it's all vented and everything. Uh, you know, this, this is an awesome setup right here so that if you're going to spend time in this, um, extended time in this, where you're going to be in the RV, like, you know, full-time or traveling and you're not sure where home's going to be from one night to the next, this coach can take care of you. There's no need to necessarily use a public laundry service. Um, big garden shower and tub, by the way, there is the, uh, sort of seating area, uh, elevated above the tub in that. Oh, I tell you when I can show you, all I got to do is open the door. There you have it. And again, you can see uh, things in here, they're, they're pretty pretty clean. Everything's been well kept. Um, I can't find anywhere where I, I would say there's been a leak or anything like that. This has one of those soft touch ceiling liners. And these things are great because they, they do an awesome job of noise canceling. But the other thing that they do as a side effect, a passive benefit, I've noticed that um, as a dealer of a lot of used RVs I've keyed into is if there's ever been a leak, that, that soft touch ceiling liner, you just, you can't clean the stain out of it. And since there are no stains on the ceiling, I can tell you with confidence there have been no leaks up here. That's a, a, a nice little side effect of it all. Again, this is, this is a, a nice piece. It's been garage kept. The sun hasn't cooked it. Lots of windows, lots of storage, lots of space. Very functional, fully accessible when the slides are closed. Actually, you know what? I'm standing right here. We're going to close some slides up. And uh, something else I like is these are fast moving slide outs. Um, there's nothing wrong with slow moving slides in an RV, but you want to get there, you want to get set up. You don't want to have to like spend a bunch of time, you know, messing with slides. You just want to go camping. You know, you're ready to go. Well, this isn't camping, this is RVing. There is a difference, but um, I think you get the point. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, whatever you need we do everything here at Haywood RV hitches pieces parts trades financing uh, you know accessories everything um, whatever it is we can take care of it for you I did notice the the bedroom slide does have a little bit of a, a squeak from time to time um, I'm gonna guess just maybe a slide mechanism needs a quick lubrication part of the reason that this is here is because the folks just weren't using it you know and they didn't want it to sit and rot and disrepair so even with the slides closed we're still perfectly functional, fully accessible, easy operating, easy running down the road. Battery disconnect right by the door. Boom. Now all the lights shut off and we don't got to worry about anything. So, you pretty much have it. Give us a call. 800-256-5196. Uh, Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.